Creating a club is one of the most underrated ways to make career mode more fun. What's more fun than designing everything from a team's kits to the stadium and the players and then watching them rise up the table? Today, I've got six wild career mode ideas that all use Create a Club and they'll help you to enjoy FIFA 23 for months to come. Today, I've made sure to include teams of all ratings, but we will be focusing on some of FIFA's most underrated leagues. So stick around for the whole video to find out which team is best for you. So let's get started with our first team, Birmingham Legion from the MLS. I think the MLS is pretty interesting to use on FIFA mainly because of its structure. It features a playoff system that is different from most European leagues, where the top seven teams from each conference, so that's the west half of the United States and the east half of the United States, qualify for the playoffs, and each winner of each conference gets straight into the second round. This means you can be the 13th best team in the league overall, but still go on to win the title, something you can't really do on FIFA anywhere else. So what team should you create? Well, there's one playing in the United States third division called Birmingham Legion that was only founded five years ago that I think would be perfect. They'd fill a big gap in the MLS, becoming the first team in Alabama to ever play in the top division. Interestingly, Birmingham actually play in a 50,000-seater stadium, over twice the size of any other team in their division, and bigger than most Premier League grounds. As it's mainly a college American football team who play there, make sure to use a big stadium with the NFL lines on the pitch in-game if you want a bit more realism. Interestingly, their squad actually contains Juan Agueldo, who many thought would go on to be the best American attacker once Clint Dempsey retired. In some of the old FIFAs, he did indeed go on to be that good, but things didn't work out quite so well for him in real life, so make sure you recreate him based on his FIFA 22 stats in-game if you want to use him for Birmingham Legion. One of the best all-time female players, Mia Hamm, was also born in Alabama. With 127 international goals in 250 games, why not create her to be a female manager? You can also sign a few other Alabama-born players into your squad. The three best active at the minute is Brandon Serviana, Tana Tesman, and Chris Richard from Crystal Palace. But a surprising amount of players from the Southern State are actually in FIFA. I think it's a lot more likely you've heard of the second team in this video than the first, where we'll be creating French team Le Mans FC. The city of Le Mans is much more well known for its endurance racing track, but a surprisingly successful youth academy actually appeared here in the early 2000s. Focusing on bringing through African and French talents, some super well-known players once called Le Mans home. Didier Drogba is probably the best player to emerge from this northern French team, but Javinho, Morgan Sanson, Johan Pelé, and many more high potential talents have lined up for Le Mans in the past. There is a really interesting storyline you can use here, which involves the return of Mathieu Cotadeur. Create him as your manager and sign him from AJ Ayasio. So this will let you have him as a manager while also being able to use him in the pitch, something a bit like the player manager type thing you see at lower levels in England. So why use Mathieu? Well, in FIFA 09, when Le Mans was still a first division team, he was a big homegrown prospect born in Le Mans playing in their midfield. With 84 potential, which he never quite lived up to, he was actually contacted about a return to Le Mans last summer. With a former homegrown wonder kid as your manager, an academy focused on bringing through even more players like him, the goal is of course to try and build your team up to reach Ligue 1 with a big academy focused team bringing through French and African talents. While Ligue 2 might not be that underrated, I really do think the Romanian first division is on FIFA. While other small leagues might only have one or two really good teams, the Romanian league actually has three teams fighting for the title. Once you've created and developed Venus Bucharesti up to be about 70 overall, you'll be fighting for every single competition with Cluj, FCSB and Cryovia for both league and cup. As they were seven times winners of the first division before they got dissolved by communist authorities, Venus was actually the most successful club in Romania. And despite them now playing in the fifth division, I think this is a really good way of using one of the most underrated leagues in FIFA. If you do decide to create this club, one thing I think you need to know is that they never managed to win the Romanian Cup. They got beaten by their local rivals Rapid Bucharesti in the final in 1940. They also lost to the same opponents in the semi-finals in 37, 38, 39, 41 and 42. So that is a massive rivalry between Rapid and Venus Bucharesti. Rapid are actually a team that is on FIFA 23, so unlike with most creator clubs where you bring a team from the lower leagues, their rivals are actually already in there and licensed on FIFA 23. 
So with a route into Europe possible, you have the three goals for the save. Firstly, get them back to be fighting for titles. Second, see if you can win that Romanian Cup. And third, see if you can make it out of the group stages in a European competition, something I don't think any Romanian team has ever done. However, a lot of Scottish teams have done this, so we're going to be heading up to the Scottish Premiership for our fourth team. Queen's Park were the last purely amateur team in the British League system. As one of the founding members of the Scottish Football Association, they contributed a massive amount to the development of football all across Britain. They've produced a lot of talented players over the year, but the most famous one is of course Andy Robertson, who is one of the best left backs in the world. And before he moved to Dundee, he actually did play for Queen's Park's Academy. Me. The team was playing at the biggest stadium in the world at the time, Hamden Park, and recently they have moved into a smaller stadium, so they're not in that massive stadium anymore. But despite its massive history, its development of loads of talented players, they did actually struggle to survive until 2019. Because the club was relying on amateur players, it meant that people could come and go whenever they wanted. When they finally turned professional, they not only got promoted from the 4th division to the 3rd division, but then the 3rd division to the 2nd division, and now they're first place in the Scottish Championship. It's a good chance that they will actually appear on FIFA next year as a licensed club, so why not get a drop on them by creating them on 23? You'll have some challenges along the way, I'm sure, but with you as manager and the club in the Scottish Premiership, you'll probably be able to get Queen's Park their first title before the end of your 15-season career. If you know anything about Scottish football, you'll know there's one or two teams at the top who will win the title no matter what. Unlike many other leagues though, the Danish Superliga doesn't have this problem. The title race is actually closely contested almost every single year, and with the league's emphasis on youth development both in real life and in FIFA, the league has produced so many talented young players for a nation of Denmark's size. Despite this, it's rare to see someone who isn't Danish playing in Denmark on FIFA, so make sure you give this a go in your next save. I'm going to recommend you create Nexo Ball Club Bornholm, who's a Danish football team located on a small island in the Baltic Sea. With a population of less than 40,000, despite their remote location, they did actually achieve quite a lot, getting up to the third division in 2013. I think due to the location, the history of the island and the kits the team has, they make the perfect Danish creator club team. The history of the island is actually really diverse, they've been owned by Sweden, Germany, the Soviets and Denmark, so these different groups of people might actually contribute to the team's success. Why don't you try and scout each one of these nations and create a team that has a unique blend of styles and nationalities? Of course your goal is to try and bring domestic success to this tiny team. While they might currently be in the 6th tier in real life, this is more than a football team, they are a symbol of an entire island, so why don't you try and take them one step further and have fun in one of FIFA's most underrated leagues, the Danish Superliga. We're going to finish this video by talking about a team I've wanted to talk about on the channel for a long time, but couldn't really find the right video to put them in. You might not have ever heard of the LA Aztecs before. I mean, I hadn't before I started researching about the history of an MLS for a different video, but I think they're more than worth talking about. For example, somehow, Rinus Michels was briefly the Aztecs manager. You might know him for being the inventor of Total Football. In fact, I've actually made a full video on him recently, so if you want to play Total Football while also being the MLS, why don't you check that one out too? But with Michels being considered as one of the best managers of all time, they also had two of the best footballers of all time. George Best and Johan Cruyff both played for them in the past. With the star power associated with Los Angeles, why don't you see if you can bring a modern set of famous players to the city like they did back in the 70s. While there aren't many players that give off the same kind of vibe that George Best did, players like Zlatan have shown that you can be a bit outrageous and also still perform in the MLS despite being fairly old. There's a bunch of other interesting facts about this team too. Elton John was part owner. They played in a 93,000 seater stadium at the LAA Coliseum, the largest stadium ever used for an MLS game. They also played at various indoor stadiums once the attendances started to decline. And most impressively, the Aztecs actually won the North America Soccer League in their first season. This is the highest tier of soccer before the MLS was created in the 90s. So why don't you see if you can fully build this team and make them win the MLS in your first season. It might seem a little bit unrealistic to have three teams from Los Angeles in the league, but it is going to give you some really good derbies in the MLS, something that I think the MLS does really miss. 
So why don't you give this one a go and let me know how it goes in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I've got two videos on the screen right now which you should check out. Also check out my second channel where I post full playthroughs of FIFA career modes. But if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you want to see more like this and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, cheers and goodbye.